Second squad, one step forward, march. Retired Navy Commander Rosalind Brooks is the junior ROTC instructor at Pearlands Dawson High School. It's a position she's held and loved for nearly a decade. I can go in the hallways and people kind of know if I'm walking around that, you know, I don't like to see pants low, I don't like to see hats on. Um, and I can go up to a kid and they may be out of dress code or something may not be right. And once I can write, yes, ma'am, you know, and they're not in my ROTC. This is a really gr good group of kids. We have great teachers and we have great administrators. One day a week, these junior ROTC cadets have classroom instruction. Another day is dedicated to marching drills, and yet another day is set aside for the all-important cadet uniform inspections. They represent something bigger than themselves, and that's a part of the whole exercise of them wearing their uniform, is for them to be able to understand that it's not about you. It's really about who you represent and who you want other people to see when they see you. I mean, how do you want to present yourself? Commander Brooks graduated from the U.S. Naval Academy in 1988 and had plans to leave the Navy and attend medical school. But soon after graduation, she started teaching leadership classes to future Navy officers. Once I started, you know, I got into the military, I really enjoyed it. And then I decided, I got stationed back at the Naval Academy, I was teaching. And then I really figured out that my real love was teaching. After 14 years of active duty, she married Houston restaurateur Marlon Brooks. She resigned her Navy commission and joined the Navy Reserve. And returning to Houston to raise her family allowed her to teach once again. Once I had the opportunity to teach in JROTC, it seemed to, I was able to marry the experience I had in the military, the teaching experience I had, and then to be around high school kids, which is my kids' age. And so it's really a perfect match. And the teaching here doesn't always stay in the classroom. Marching drills are also an important part of military life. It teaches discipline. And I just think that that's a, a lost thing in the high school, and particularly among this generation. And so we teach them discipline, we teach them to submit to authority. And at the same time, our leaders are being able, our, our cadet leaders are able to practice their leadership skills. Commander Brooks says her experience at the Naval Academy was life changing. She now wants to share and pass on what she has learned. Jose Grignan, Fox 26 News.